Hey guys, TJ Miller with IDI. We get asked a lot in the field, what's the easiest way to change over from open cell to closed cell or vice versa? Well, today I'm going to show you an easy tool to use by using compressed air. So this is an air purge changeover tool. We send an assembly with different fittings and adapters to connect the supply line to the transfer pump. There's a one-way check valve in here, which is important. It allows air to go in, but it won't allow material to come back up. And then there's a ball valve on the back here to control the airflow. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my compressed air, I'm going to hook it to that line, and I'm going to blow out the return line first. So I'll come up here, open up my return line, and I'm going to come back here and listen to this, and I can hear material coming out. I'm going to wait until I get just compressed air coming out of this, and then we can go and move forward. So now I have just compressed air coming out of here. I can come up here, I want to close this valve, and now that's gonna start pushing the compressed air down the spray hose. We can grab the end of our spray hose where our manifold is, make sure we're opening up the B side because that's the only thing that we're purging. We're gonna open up this valve and we're gonna use that compressed air to push out all the material in the whole B side of the system before we switch over to our new product. So now we got all of our material out. Now we're gonna go ahead and close this off. Set that aside. We're gonna get our airline disconnected from our air purge tool. We're gonna get our transfer pump taken out. And we're gonna set that aside in a trash can for now so it can be cleaned off. Now we're going to get our new material loaded in and we'll use the transfer pump to resupply the whole system. While you have the pump inside of a trash can, make sure we wipe this down and get all of the liquid material off of it as best as we possibly can. I also like to put in a chunk of cardboard or plastic or something in the bottom just to protect the foot valve on the bottom of the pump. So as you get to the bottom where the foot valve is, there's a check ball in there. If we push up on that check ball, it's going to release any of the material in the bottom of the fluid section of the pump. So trigger that foot valve, get all that residual material out before we go ahead and put it into our new drum. So before we put the transfer pump into our new material, we have to make sure we take off this return line. Because this is still going to be a little bit of residual material from this material, and we don't want any of that going into this drum when we switch over. So I'm going to take my return line off, we'll get that into a trash bucket, and we'll put our transfer pump into our new material. We're gonna hook our airline to our transfer pump. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our return line. We're gonna get that bled out first. So now you can see we got a steady flow of material coming out of our return line. So we're gonna go back up to the machine we're going to go ahead and close this. So now it's going to start resupplying the spray hose. Now we can open up our manifold until we get a steady flow of material coming out of the manifold. Basically what we're trying to do is purge out all the air and all of the crossover material until we get a good steady flow of the new material coming out. Now that I got a good steady flow of material, I'm gonna go ahead and close my valve. I can unhook my transfer pump. I can hang my hose back up on the rack. The main thing we wanna do is get all of one material out before we try to reprime it with the new material. We don't want these B-sides crossing over with each other. We don't want to use one material to push the other material out because B-sides, open cell to closed cell, aren't compatible with each other. 
So using the compressed air, it eliminates the waste by spraying out a massive mountain-sized bun of that crossover transitional material. If you found this video helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions, give us a call. We can get one of these coming your way. DJ Miller with IDI. Thanks for watching.